Today we're going to look at multiplication using partial product. This is a common core standard. This is what it states. Multiply a whole number of up to four digits by a one digit whole number using strategies based on place value. This is today's objective. By the end of this lesson, I will be able to multiply a one digit number by a two digit number using the partial product method of multiplication. Let's look at the term partial product. Partial means only part. It's not whole. Product is the answer you get when you multiply numbers together. Because you are multiplying many parts, you're doing a partial answer. This will become more clear as we work through some problems. Let's look at the first problem. 8 times 3 equals 24. If we go up and read the sentence, partial product is based on the values of the numbers multiplied together. It's important to look at the values of each place before you multiply. The 8 is in the 1's place, which means that it's worth 8. And there's 3 down below. Times 3, that means you're going to do 8 3 times. If you look over to the right, we have 8 3 different times. And that's what 8 times 3 means. Down below, you're going to write 1's because we have 8 times 3 in the 1's place. You write the problem 8 times 3 and then write what it equals. Let's look at another problem. Once again, we're going to look at the values of the places. If we come over to this problem, it states 82 times 3. The 2 is in the 1's place and so is the 3. Down below where it says 1's, I want you to write the problem out just like we did up above. 2 times 3 and then write what it's worth. Its value is 6. The next step we're going to do is we're going to look at the 10's place. You will write 10's below on your paper and then you will take a look at its value. What is in the tens place? It's an 8. And what is the value of 8 tens? If you said 80, you're correct. 80, and again we need to do times the 3 in the ones place. That equals, let me show you a trick. First take the first two digits, 8 times 3, and write its value, which is 24, and then go back and see, are there any zeros? There is. There's one right here in the 80. You're going to tack on the 80 to the end of this problem. That's a fast way to do any number when you're multiplying and it has a zero on the end. 80 times 3 is the same as 240. Now that you have the values of each place written out, 6 in the ones, and the tens place, its value is 240. Now I want you to rewrite those numbers over here to the right, and you're going to be careful to line them up, keep them in their places. The six is in the ones place, and when I write 240, the zero's in the ones place, a four is in the tens, and a two is in the hundreds. So I need to re leave room for the hundreds place, the tens place, and then the zero goes in the ones place. Now you're going to add the ones and the tens together. That's where partial product comes in. The product of the ones place is 6. The product of the tens place, its value is 240. Now we need to add them together. Add the ones area first. 6 plus 0 is 6. 4 plus nothing is 4. And 2 plus nothing is 2. So 82 times 3 is equal to 246. Let's take a look at another problem. This particular problem is 45 times 3. Once again, we're going to look at the values of the ones place and then the value of the tens place. Each digit up above the ones place and the tens place must be multiplied times this 3. Let's do them one at a time. Let's do the ones place first. When you have your paper, you won't have the ones written or the tens written. 
That will be up to you to write it. I wrote it here just to help you get started. The ones place we're looking at 5 times 3. So that needs to be written right next to the ones. 5 times 3. Now write its value. That means give me the product of it. What is 5 times 3? It is equal to 15. Next we're going to look at the tens place. We have a 4 in the tens place. What is the value if you have 4 tens? If you said 40, you are correct. So we have 40. Once again, we need to multiply times this 3. This 3 must be multiplied times every digit up on top. So times 3. Let's do that trick again. Do the first two digits. 4 times 3 is 12. Go back and find zeros in this problem. There's 1. You're going to tack it on to the end of the 12. Okay, the next step is to add these together. Right now we have partial products. We have in the ones place, its value is 15. In the tens place, the product or its value is 120. Now we need to add those together. We'll take 15 and we're going to add 120. 5 plus nothing is 5. Now go to the tens place. 1 plus 2 is 3. And 1 plus nothing is 1. We took partial products, the 15 and the 120, and we have a complete product over here. I'm going to write that underneath the original problem over here to the left. The answer is 135. Let's do one more. This problem is 36 times 7. In the ones place, we have a 6. The value of that will be written down below. We have 6, and we need to multiply it times, look at the multiplier, times 7. And 6 times 7 is 42. Now our next step is to look at the tens place. We have a 3 in the tens. If you have 3 tens, what is its value? If you said 30, you are correct. Now we need to multiply that 3 in the tens place times the 7. Let's do our trick. 7 times 3 is 21. And there's one zero. We're going to tack it onto the end. So it's 210. These are your partial products. Now we need to come up with a sum of these two partial products. So to the right, we're going to rewrite those problems. We have 42 times, or er, sorry, not times. Let me erase that. 42 plus 210. Now we're going to add these together. 2 plus 0 is 2. 4 plus 1 is 5. And 2 plus nothing is 2. The value of 36 times 7 is 252. Now it's your turn to practice. Make sure you have a piece of paper and a pencil. You may pause the video and hit the pause button again when you're ready to start. Welcome back. Let's work on this problem. 46 times 3. I would like you to write the problem down, pause the video, and work the problem out. If you get stuck and don't know what to do, go ahead and hit the pause button on the video. It will start playing again, and I'll walk you through step by step. Okay, hopefully you successfully were able to do the problem, but it, we're just getting started, so let's take a look. The first thing you need to do is write down the problem. I went ahead and kept my ones place a red number and the tens place a green number. Sometimes when I teach this in class, I have my students actually get colored pencils to write the color codes. That way it helps keep them straight. So the next step you're going to do is you're going to write ones in red so it matches the ones. And then I did tens in green to match the tens. This will help keep your numbers straight. So 
So if we look at our numbers, we have 6 times 3. Over to the right, I wrote 3 times 6. Remember, that's the same thing. Is equal to 18, and you should be checking your answers. And then the next step, after we've done the ones, is to go to the tens place. So come up. There's a 4 in the tens place. That value is 40, and then you still need to multiply it times 3. Let's do the trick. 4 times 3 is 12, then you tack on 1 zero. And now you have two partial products. We're going to add them together. 8 plus 0 is 8. 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 plus nothing is 1. Hopefully you got this one correct. We're just starting, and this can be a little confusing, so just take it one step at a time. You'll get it. Let's go to another problem. This one is 29 times 4. Write the problem down. Once again, I color-coded the problem. And then you should be writing the ones and the tens, separating them with a little bit of space in between each other. And now you're going to go back and write the value of the ones place. So you're going to take the nine, and if you have nine ones, it's worth nine times four. That should be the first thing that you wrote down. The answer to that is 36. And the next step is going over to the tens. If you have two tens, its value is 20. 20 times four is what you should have written. And if we take a look at the shortcut, two times four is eight, and then you're going to tack on a zero to the end. 20 times four is 80. Now you have two partial products. We're going to add them together to get a complete answer. Six plus nothing is six, and eight plus three, or three plus eight, is 11. So the answer to 29 times 4 using partial product is 116. It's time to practice another one. 61 times 6. Write that down. You also may color code that. I tried to stay consistent in this video with my colors. We have a 1 in the 1's place and a 6 in the 10's place. You should have written down ones and tens. Now let's start with the ones. A one in the ones place, its value is one, and you need to multiply it times six. That answer is six. Then if we go to the tens place, a six in the tens place, its value is 60, multiplying it times six. We see that we have 60 times six. Let's do the shortcut. 6 times 6 is 36. Go back and see if you have any zeros. We have 1. You tack it on to the end. And then you're going to make sure that you rewrite them and make sure they are lined up. Let me grab a pen. We have 6. That's the value of the ones place. And then the value of the tens place was 360. We're going to add these together. 6 plus 0 is 6. Nothing plus 6 is 6, and nothing plus 3 is 3. So 61 times 6 is 366. One more, 34 times 7. Remember, you can pause the video. If I'm going too fast, you can also back it up and hear what I said once again. If you rewrite the problem, we have a 4 in the 1's place and a 3 in the 10's place. Write the words 1's and 10's. This helps you keep track of where you're at. Once you get to more difficult problems, you're going to need that. So when we rewrite the 1's place, we write 4 times 7, and that is 28. And then we're going to rewrite the 10's place, 3 10's its value is 30, and then we're going to do times 7. Shortcut, 3 times 7 
is 21, tack on 10, its value is 210. Now let's rewrite these and add them together. So the value of the ones place is 28, oops, grab my pen, and we're going to add the value of the tens place, which was 210. I'm being very careful to make sure my numbers are lined up. All right, adding from the ones first, 8 plus 0 is 8, 2 plus 1 is 3, and 2 plus nothing is 2. So 34 times 7 is 238. Okay, your objective was I am able to multiply a one-digit number by a two-digit number using the partial product method of multiplication. I hope you did well and you understood this. If not, you can watch it again.